So one of the biggest changes in iOS 15 is with Safari because now we have a fully redesigned Safari in iOS 15 which is entirely different from iOS 14. So here are all the tips and tricks you need to know to make your Safari experience better. Now the first time you open up Safari, you realize that the search bar is not at the bottom and not on the top. You can simply change this and go back and have the old iOS 14 one in the settings. So you can have a single bar at the top or you can have a tab bar at the bottom. Now the benefit of having a tab bar is you can have a swipe gesture. You can simply swipe across them to navigate between tabs, which you cannot do with the top bar. You can also just simply pull from the top to refresh a page now. So that also is a new feature. And you can also make tab groups now. So you can have a bunch of tabs in one group and a bunch of them in the other group. So to make a tab group, go inside the tabs and click on start page and then click on new empty tab group. Now name this thing anything and now you have a new tab group and you can have a bunch of tabs right in this group. You can also change the background image of your home page on Safari. So click on edit and you can have all of these right here. You can also add your own image from your photo gallery. You can also change what shows on the home screen. So you can you know, have your favorites right here. You can have your reading list right here. You can configure all of this right here in the edit section for Safari. Now you can also add extensions to Safari like a desktop. So they have a proper section right here in the app store to add extensions to Safari. So this is one of the best features in my opinion. Now you can also change the playback speed of a video in the default video player on Safari. But the best feature in my opinion is a drag and drop system. So right here we have a bunch of dog pictures. Simply hold on any image and drag it and you can also select a bunch of them. So select all of them Go to the home screen while holding them and simply drop them inside any application you want. So right here we have them in the notes application and it works really well and in my opinion this is not only the best feature in Safari but the best feature in iOS 15. So yeah, that's that's pretty much it. So this was a quick video and an overview on what's new with Safari because there is a bunch of new stuff with Safari and it does take some time to get used to with the new Safari, with the new search bar and all of that. But in the end, this is one of the best updates we have had here to Safari in years. So yeah, that's pretty much it. I hope you all enjoyed the video and if you did, give it a big thumbs up and as always, thank you all for watching and stay tuned for more. Until then, peace.